Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest VI. We are almost ready to go take on Mortimer after the last couple episodes of doing all the grinding that I needed to get my characters where I want them to be. My characters are in great shape. Now I got made BCS Buster a hero. Everything's in really, really, really good shape. So we're going to get ready to do that. I want to get one final ability as with BCS Buster as the hero, which will make this a lot easier and it won't take me that long. And before doing that, though, um, I do want to change the locations. And this is just to work on this. I'm going to redo everyone's vocation in just a little bit. But now that Ashlyn has mastered Sage, I actually want to get her working on our mentalist so that she can learn um, the best single targeting spell in the game. And then she's just going to be a freaking tank for the rest of the game and it's going to be over. So uh, I want her to work on Warrior, I believe. Yes, so let's do that. There you go. And again, she, this is just for grinding. This is not for um, for anything like that. So, okay, I'm gonna head now, win the final battles that I need to get the ability I want for the hero, and then I promise we're gonna take on Mortimer today. All right, and for the first level of the hero, he learns Kaklang, which can be useful. All right, Nevin's our mentalist level increases, and he learns Lightning Slash, so that can be useful too. Another level for uh, Paladin. He learns uh, Ma Terry learns Magic Barrier. That could be useful too. There it is. After eight battles, BCS Buster becomes a town hero. And why did I want him to learn that? <laughs> now we get to use Disruptive Wave. Yeah. So the enemies were using Disruptive Wave on us and nullifying our abilities. Not anymore. Now we can do that. And that's actually going to be helpful for the final boss um, to have that. Uh, ready to go there. Also, BCS Buster is going to be a hero for the rest of the game. Like his. Also, I should mention, if you walk uh, some steps with BCS Buster now that he's a hero, he slowly starts to regenerate some HP, which is really nice. So, okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go, I'm going to get my entire party set up, rearrange all my vocations for everything that I want, and then we will get ready to go finally take on Mortimer. So, I'll be right back. I'll meet you outside of All Trades Abbey. Okay. We're all ready to go. Um, I've got my party rocking and rolling here. So we've got Lizzie. Uh, I, made, I turned her back into a dragon uh, for the extra attack and defense. Same with Carver. I turned him back into a dragon. Obviously, Beastius Buster is a hero. Got Ashlyn back as a sage. I brought Healy back into the party just in case a disaster occurs and we need Omni heal. I don't think we will, but just in case, I've got Healy back in the party. Terry is who he is. Um, I've got Amos just in case. I don't think I'll need him either. Uh, same thing with Nevin. I have him just in case. I took out Millie just because she doesn't have a lot of HP and MP. And if I need to swap her in to do a quick round of healing or something like that, somebody in for a quick round of healing, um, that's probably going to be the best, the best way to go, unfortunately. So, But other than that, we are all ready to go. So, let's use the Hermes hat. Oh, sorry. Let's use the Celestial Reigns. There we go. And let's head to the... Dark World, or the Nether Realm, or the Dread Realm, or whatever you want to call it. All right, and now let's go ahead and use that Hermes hat, and let's get to the Prison of Sorrow. And I'll I'll show you the the quick path through um, the castle there, um, just in case you don't quite remember how to go. And it's the most direct route. So I've also this is my party for right now to get us there: Lizzie Carver, BCS Buster, and Ashland, because we'll be able to whoop some ass as we go. So let's do it. So these are the type of the enemies we can face here. Again, just go all out. And, um, let's use Kaboom, because Kaboom can really whoop some ass against everybody there. Ow, stop it. Ow, stop it. Oh, boy. So this is why I've got Lizzie in the party, too. Oh! Woohoo! Nice job. That's awesome. We can just destroy everybody. Oh, yeah. Lizzie learns the first part of her dragon vocation. And, oh, yeah. I forgot I made Healy a sage. My bad. Or a mage, rather. So eventually, I'm going to turn Healy into a sage. All right. So once we get to floor one, let's just head right up to floor two. Ah, now here's where it starts to get fun. So we're going to go this way. And over here. Throw the switch. Now... 
If you can't remember where to go, just follow the arrows in the path there, uh, and it'll make sure that you don't uh, take a wrong turn. Okay, some more new enemies we can face. Now, what I would do with BCS Buster is just constantly have him use the Sage's Stone to try to conserve it, HP. Boom. Boom. Nice job, Ashlyn. I oh, didn't actually do as much damage as I thought it would. Ow! Carver got his ass up there. I might have to swap out Ashlyn. I thought Ashlyn was going to do more damage than that. There you go. I'm gonna give it, uh, in this case, I'm just going to use Staff again. Make sure you don't use the Sands of Time. Because I've done that before, too. Uh, let's try... Let's just do attack this way. Yeah, so... Yeah, so you don't watch out for that. That basically means all magic is bad. So now you choose physical attacks at this point. And she can actually do a decent amount of damage with her Gringham Whip. Um, for that. So that's kind of cool. Okay, uh, let's see. Now I believe it's this way. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay, I gotta go in the other way too. It doesn't really matter. Okay, and now... This way. Good. This way. And now this way. And that should take us all the way over. There you go. Yeah, no problems there. Um. It could be. Yeah. I'm going to throw Terry in there. Sorry, I, I thought Ashton was going to do more damage than that, but I guess she wasn't. Ah, yes. This part. Okay, now the quickest way to get through this is you just want to go up this way, take this one, whee, and then this top one, whee, and then just head right up here. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we got a dragon in the party, so that will help with these jugular jokers. Uh, do you have the Thunderbolt? We don't. Okay, let's just attack. Let's take him down. Good job, BCS Buster. Come on, use the boom with you. Job. There you go. No problems there. Whee! Remember to go, remember to advance. We go down this way. Throw the switch. That'll take us up. this way. And now we just go straight down. Okay, well, let's, let's see what happens when we go against some um, of these guys for real. Uh, do you have thin air? Yeah, you do. This is kind of a cool attack, too. Oh, I forgot to get, I keep forgetting to use cold breath uh, with carbon. So one whole point I made with dragon. You know, we can start to use the, the vacuum vortex. Right? Of course, we can also just whoop their ass like that, too. If you don't have flails of destruction, um, you can use cold breath and, um, like, the thin air and all that stuff uh, with Lizzie as well, if you've got it by this point, if you've got made her a paladin. Okay, now, for this one, we just want to go up this way and down and around. Okay, I'll show you Lost Leaders and Dragon Leaders here. Let's use Cold Breath, Attack, and... Oh, yeah, I don't think Thin Air costs any. You can use Kefrizzle, which is annoying. Ow! Got it. Ooh, nice shot. I'll try Cold Breath here. Yeah! Nice job. And some Stone. Probably could use Falcon Slash, but that's okay. Oh, that was annoying. Stop that. I don't like that at all. Alright, uh, you got Falcon Slash. Yeah. And you got Falcon Slash too, yeah. There you go. 
or that works too. And a level for Healy. I want to fight the enemies here because I want to try to get the last little bit of experience that I can. And up this way. And a level for Ashland. Very good. Okay, not that it really matters, but... Okay, we're doing it. Okay. Down, down this way, and up, and we're through. And a level for Lizzie. Nice. And a level for Carver. Ooh, good increase in HP. And a level for Amos. We'll take all we can get. Awesome. Now we can start making our way to the end. Um, if you want to run from the enemies, you certainly can. But I want to try to get the last little bit of experience that I can. All right, I'll take a level for ain't. I'll take a, another level for Amos, though I don't really care. And down this way. Oh, okay. I guess we get metal slimes. I didn't realize we we fought it. You know, this really isn't gonna. This probably isn't going to give me too much experience. I was just thinking about that. Do you have Hatchet Man too? Okay. Oh! Oh, they're going to become a Metal King slime. Which actually is good. Okay. Well, I wasn't expecting this, but cool. Yeah, Metal King Slime. What? What? Which is actually even better. Watch it merge into a Metal King Slime and then run away. <laughs> uh, did I not call that one or what? I... Whoa! At last, we've arrived. Great, more of this malarkey. Ah! Ugh. And of course, us and the wagon can fall, can, uh, wow, can survive falls from that height. And there he is. Okay, let me take a second and make sure my party's all ready to go, and then we will move on. All right, we're all healed up and ready to go. Um, this is the party I'm going to be using. I've got Ashlyn um, in reserves, just in case, and you'll see why in just a minute. So, let's head up to the platform, and this weird-looking old man. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, uh, sure. Fine. What, why do people declare themselves Lord of Evil? Don't the best bad guys think that they're not evil? They actually want to, they think that it's their, you know, uh, right to kind of, you know, kind of like take over the world according to their views, but oh well. Now it's time for a final boss battle against Mortimer. Okay, now, time to show you why I started getting all of my characters rocking and rolling the way that they did. So, let's kabuff. Uh, let's, uh, do you want to double up? Actually, let's use Falcon Slash there. First round, let's get kabuff going, and we have multiple people that can use kabuff. So this is really, really good. Actually, hold on. No, I lied. BCS Buster, would you use the Sword of Ramius on Carver? There we go. And now, where's... Where's your kabuff? I know you've got one. There it is. Great. There we go. Oh, watch out for this attack. Ow! Damn it. Ow! Bastard. Yeah. By the way, I forgot to mention, I also gave Lizzie the um, Sage's Stone. I mean, there's a very specific reason for that. There you go. Good job. Good shot. Very good. Um, the reason that I gave uh, Lizzie the Sage's Stone is because BCS Buster has multi-heal and can use that in a pinch in case uh, the situation calls for it. Do you have oomph? I can't remember. No. So let's just go... Uh, let's go Falcon Slash. And why don't you go... Uh, why don't you get multi-heal? Well... Yeah, let's use Sage of Stone. And Falcon Slash. And why don't you get oomph going on Terry? Oh wait, I'd give you know, you see the sword ramp is trick. Let's get that going on Terry. And Terry, why don't you talk and slash? Where is it? Where is it? Thank 
Thank you. Yep. Okay, so he does have Disruptive Wave, which is kind of annoying. But that's okay. And this is the Sage of Stone. Great. So, whenever that happens... He does have Disruptive Wave, which is fine. So whenever that happens, let's just reestablish uh, Kabuff, Thaka Slash, um, Sword of Ramius on Carver, and where's Kabuff? I think I would know where all these things are by now. Oh, there it is. Ah, he's got Kaboom, which can be annoying too. The other reason I have Lizzie in the party is because... Oh! Ooh, this could be a problem. Ouch! Shit, yeah, and that can happen too. So that's really annoying. Yeah, this guy's got some really powerful attacks. So let's use... Uh, now, if in a pinch... Uh, let's see. Let's have you use the Sage of Stone. Actually, let's do this. Carver, why don't you jump out for... Uh, why don't you jump up for Ashlyn there? Lizzie. Sometimes when he does it, you just need, you just need to take a round to heal. Uh, you've got multi-heal, I believe. So let's use multi-heal and BCS Buster. You use your new Kazing spell. Let's bring Terry back to life. Thank you. Ow! Okay, Venomous Vapor, that's fine. There you go. The thing about multi-heal that's great is it even affects people, does, even gets people in the wagon going, which is nice. All right, great. Now, now that's now that's happening. Let's get Carver back and Kabuff and Falcon Slash. Uh, let's actually let's do this. Lizzie, you Sage of Stone, Falcon Slash, attack and Kabuff. There we go. This first form, he's got about 2,000 HP, by the way. There you go. Ow. Okay, fine. Oh, Frigid Ice, this is bad. God, that's such a dangerous ability. There you go. Yeah, this is a hard final boss if you're not ready for it. There you go, good shot. Okay, uh, let's fucking slash. Why don't you get a multi heal going? And Terry, why don't you get a buff going? There you go. What I like about multi heal is it does more than the Sage of Stone. It restores more HP than the Sage of Stone. So it's nice to have. Ow! Okay. So. Okay, so we're all good to go now. There you go. Alright. Now, Lizzie, do you don't think you have. So let's go that, that, and let's go sort of Ramius on Lizzie, and, and attack. There we go. Bounce, fine. There we go, good shot. Well, I don't like that at all. Uh, let's do this. Let's get around the healing going, Sage of Stone. Frigid Ice. Oof. Unfortunately, Insultate, I don't think, protects against Frigid Ice, which which is annoying. There you go. Uh-oh. Well, we got him. Woo! Uh-huh. Okay. What's going on? Whoa! It's almost got Necrosaur vibes to him. Yikes! Ah! <laughs> oh boy! Now it's time for the real final boss battle against Mortimer. Alright, let's go to work. So, first thing we need to do, let's get some healing going. Uh, yeah, let's get multi-heal and... Actually, I, th I think... Um, I think he's susceptible to... I think he's susceptible to cold breath, so. There we go. Okay, he can use Kasap, which is annoying. Ooh! Ow! Bastard. 
No problem. There you go. Good shot. Actually, but that's probably... It's probably going to be better to use, just use Falcon Slash. Okay. Uh, cool. Let's get Sage of Stone going. And Falcon Slash. And Kabuff. Where's Kabuff? There we go. And why don't you get Kabuff going as well? Just in case. There you go. Okay, great. Okay, no, you can't use Kasap, and that's fine. So basically, this gives us a chance to get a free round of healing, which is nice. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and save your stone. And Falcon Slash and Buff. Ow! Uh oh! Oh shoot, that's annoying. Ow! Bastard. Okay. Great. I actually think Insulate can work here. I believe. Now that I think about it, that might not be a bad idea to, to, to use that. Okay. Let's... Where is it? Where's your pocket slash? I know you've got it. There you go. Abyssus Buster, why don't you get Insultate going? Terry, do you have full heal? I think you do. There we go. There we go. So that will help against that. Nice. Good job. Is that fine? Okay, now let's just keep going all out. And Kabuff. And actually, Terry, why don't you get a mid heal going on? Oh! You should get it. There we go. Nice. Good job. Good job. Alright, this is going well. Uh, why don't we get. Oh yeah, you don't have it, that's right. Why don't you just have to get on yourself, and... Where's your Falcon Slash? There we go. There we go. Oh, I need to get Unfunk going on him. Ah, Blazing Fire. That's right, we have Insultate, so that helps. There we go. And Sage of Stone. Next, why don't you use this sort of ramminess on Terry? Terry thought this slash. There we go. Fortunately, his agility is not very good, which is okay. So he's got oomph, which can be a problem. Which you would think oomph would be a problem. However, now that we have disruptive wave. I can now just use that, and that'll take care of that. Ha <laughs> ha! My turn to finally use Disruptive Wave, you son of a bitch. Fine. No problem. Ooh, Blazing Fire. Ow. Stop that. Stop that, Mr. Simpson. There we go. Uh, you go ahead and use the Sage of Stone. Uh, why don't you Staff of Gint yourself? Go. There we go. Fine. Go. Um... Stop it. Whoa! Ah! Damn! Then kick my ass. What? Okay. Wait, wait, you're not dead yet? But this is your second form. How could you possibly have a third form? Oh, boy. Whoa! Whoa! Wait. Whoa! He, he came right 
right out of the screen! And now it's time for the real final battle against Mortimer. Okay, let's go to work. Now, um... Now, first thing we want to do is we wanted to destroy um, the hands. Because the hands can actually... Um, the hands can actually... Um, they can revive everybody, so that's kind of annoying. Um, so that kind of sucks. But, okay. Uh, let's definitely get a... Do we have multi-heal? go. And Terry, I think you right, we go. Let's just start going to work. Fine. Yeah, fortunately, we can hit all of them, which is nice. Oh man, Carver fell asleep. I don't like that. Ooh! Don't like that at all. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's let's uh let's get Carver out of the party until he wakes up. And let's bring in, that's fine. All right, Sage of Stone. Let's attack. Let's get. Uh, let's see. Oh, what am I trying to do? Sword of Ramus on Amos, and then attack. There we go. Fine. Oof! Ow! Ooh, I don't like that at all. Oh, good job. We definitely need that healing fix. Ah, it's got, it does have disruptive wave. Damn. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, just a moment here. So unfortunately, um, he's, uh, he did use Disruptive Waves, so we need to reestablish that. Okay. Amos, why don't you get out of the party for now? Let's bring in... Let's bring in Ashland for now. And let's Sage Stone... Actually, no, wait. I'm sorry. Why don't you buff? And Ashlyn can also... Actually, we'll get Ashlyn to use multi-heal. There we go. Beast's Buster, why don't you kabuff? There we go. And Terry... Good and tight. Fine. Oof. Good. Okay, that's fine. Okay, uh, now let's keep going to work. Okay, uh, let's attack. Um, actually, hold on. Actually, no, that's fine. Attack. Why don't you get a full heal going on there? There we go. You can sort of ram this Lizzy. And actually, do you have double up? I think you do. Yeah, because we want to start taking out these. Actually, no, we want to use attacks every because we want to take out these hands. Fine. Ah, I hate that disruptive wave. Ow! 
Damn. Okay. Now this is where this is where BCS Buster as a sage comes in quite handy. So we can get Ashlyn back. Fine. Oh, he's got freezing breath. Probably could use insulate, but I'm just wait. Wow. Yeah, you Uh, let's get a multi heal going from you, Ashlyn. Sort of Ramius. Lizzie and Terry, let's get buff. Fine. Yeah, Terry fell asleep. That's not good. Disruptive wave is really starting to annoy me. Okay. Uh, let's get buff. Actually, hold on. Is Carver still asleep? It looks like Carver's. It looks like Carver's awake, so. Let's get him back in. Yeah, so they can just wake back up while, you know, while you're while you're doing what you need to do. Alright, let's get buff. Uh, let's see. Ashlyn, why don't you buff as well. Actually, let's get insulate going. And sort of running this. Carver and Carver attack. Oh, he's already in Okay. Ow! Damn. Woof! Ow! There you go. So this is what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, uh, we need to bring BCS Buster back to life. So let's do this. Carver, you're out. Let's bring in Healy. So this is the moments where I have Healy. Exactly what this is for here. All right, let's kabuff. Actually, you Kazin. And you know what? I don't even care. I'm here. We survived this. We survive this. Fine. This is why I have Healy for these very situations. There you go. So way fine. I don't even care. Alright. Let's change all. God, look at that. How's this defense so high? Oh, kabuff. It's like, how's his defense so high? Come on, turn. Oh, Terry's still asleep. So let's get... Uh... Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And... Buff! Actually, hold on, let's do this. Let's have you attack... No, uh, so you could buff, you could buff as well, and Amos wants you just attack. Fine. I hate that disruptive wave. It's fine. Alright, Kabuff. Sort of bring this on Carver, and. Actually, hold on, is Terry still asleep? Oh, he's back. Okay, good. Alright, attack! Kabuff. Sort of bring this on Carver, and Kabuff. Fine. Okay, freezing breath. Sage of Stone. You better get a 
to heal going. I just need one of the hands to go down. Go. Does that could be more unfortunately? Which is fine. Go. Phew. Right, good job with the Sage of Stone. Alright, good. Attack. Why don't we Sage of Stone again there, Lizzie? Uh, let's take out that right hand. Go. Oh, survive this Lizzie, survive this Lizzie. The Lizzie should be okay, yeah, because she has the she's a dragon. Okay. Now when he starts casting multi-heal, you know that Um that he's almost in trouble. So what I want to do here now. Now that it's getting, it's definitely getting, its demise is close. So, uh, let's do this. Let's get Ashlyn in. Let's attack. Um, let's attack. Let's get a multi heal going. And you're going to use magic burst. God, and kaboom, damn. Survive, survive, fine. Nice. There you go. Good shot. Okay, great. Okay, uh, let's see. We need to... Ashley, you're out. We need to, we're going to need to do a multi-heal here. Do you have anything that can... Actually, I'm going to do... I can use the Aegis Shield, too. Forgot about that. Uh, let's get her back in. That's why we have it. Okay, good. Right hand's gone down. Oh, that's dangerous. Okay, now we need to go out and try to take out that other hand as quickly as we possible. As quickly as we possibly can. So let's go all out and take uh, take the hand down. Alright, so where is... Do you have double up? Where's your double up? I know you have it. There you go. Let's definitely use Sage of Stone. And I know you have Double Up, too. And what I like about Double Up is it goes fast, so... There you go. Got him. Okay, great. Now he's in trouble. There it is! We got him! Woohoo! And the final boss is dead! Suck it, final boss! Whoop that ass!